young. Now, we don't normally talk about Doja Cat that much on this channel unless it's for Fashion Killer. But um, she has been in the news this past week because her mother has accused her son of physically and mentally schmaltzing her and Doja. Okay, so I'm going to bring this story to you all via the Daily Mail. Doja Cat was seen for the first time after the shocking accusations that her brother was accused of knocking out her teeth as the singer's mother filed for a temporary restraining order. The 28-year-old Paint the Town Red hit maker, born Amala Rat Ratna Zandal Dalamini, the, the girl child, whatever, <laughs> was out to dinner at celeb favorite Nobu Malibu on Thursday night. She appeared downcast as she kept her eyes hidden behind a pair of black designer sunglass sunglasses while walking out of the restaurant with pals. Doja looked stylish as always as she sported a sleeveless white dress with brown leather knee high boots. She wrapped up in a luxurious fur and black leather jacket which was draped around her shoulders okay the say so singer accessorized with a large black leather weaved alexander wang bag silver chain necklace dangling earrings and the aforementioned shades the singer has not made a public statement regarding the legal filing and accusations within her family just days ago, the artist's mother filed a temporary restraining order against her son and Doja's older brother for allegedly being physically and verbally to the singer. Deborah Elizabeth Sawyer claimed in her filing that at one point her 30-year-old son, Ramon, I don't know how to pronounce this child last and middle name, knocked out the singer's teeth as per TMZ, though it's not clear when the incident happened her mom also alleged that Ramon has given Doja who is 28 cuts and bruises and stole and destroyed some of her property Deborah claims Ramon has also been verbally towards his sister in a very degrading and demeaning manner and claims he made her daughter feel unsafe and traumatized dailymail.com has reached out to representatives for Doja for a comment she claims the most recent incident happened earlier this month. Though the judge granted Deborah court order protection from her son pending a hearing for a permanent restraining order, he did not grant it for Doja, ruling that she would need to file her own request for a restraining order. In the documents, Doja's mom noted that she previously had a restraining order against her son, but it has since expired. Doja, real name Amala, whatever, 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 was born in Los Angeles to Deborah, an American graphic designer of Jewish heritage, and Dumisani, whatever the last name is, a South African performer of Zulu descent. He is most known for playing Crocodile in the original Broadway cast of the musical Serafina and the 1992 film adaptation. In a 2021 profiling in Rolling Stone magazine, Doja revealed that she and her brother were one of the few mixed race kids in their neighborhood and experienced racism. She shared that most of her friends growing up were white and Jewish and that her brother used to make fun of her for not having black friends. Maybe that's why she doesn't really, you know... Um, what's the words that I'm looking for here? Um, maybe that's why she likes white men. You know, y'all know where I'm going at with that. Um, maybe this has something to do with her brother. Anywho, in that same interview, her former babysitter, Alexis Haynes, revealed that Doja's brother, brother's behavioral issues took up a lot of space in that household. Mm. That makes sense. 
So there may not have been space for Doja's feelings. She had other outlets and avenues and ways of trying to get attention, but she was a good kid, a sweet kid. Doja suggested in the past that she is estranged from her father. It's not clear how many siblings in total the streets singer has, though she said in an interview with Fader that they are scattered across various cities. Hmm. Maybe they got something to do with her brother and her daddy. Mm. In the same interview, she noted that she feels blessed despite not having a nuclear family. It's always great to have both of your parents in your life and all of your brothers and sisters and everybody loves each other. But like ish isn't like that sometimes. Hmm. Now, um, the Daily Mail actually has the uh, paperwork that the mother filed it says i am the petitioner in this case ramon blah 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 is the respondent the respondent is my child on january 10th 2024 i'm in constant anxiety and fear for my physical and emotional well-being and safety there is a continual threat of verbal abuse and physical threats to my life and my general physical safety he has choked and threatened to hit me several times the words that are spoken are to dehumanize me on the deepest level he said he won't be happy until i'm oh jesus christ almighty swinging from a rope by my neck mm. and he is just waiting for me to be unalived Whew. Uh, he has made so many comments that are so deeply hurtful and offensive that I feel I have had to block them from memory just to go on day after day. Some are so vulgar that it's hard to feel comfortable repeating. Most of the comments are to delegitimize me as a woman and as a mother. He has no restraint and resorts to attacking me from the lowest possible level to basically demoralize me and annihilate my character. He uses these bullying tactics to manipulate me into giving him money, more money than what is rational and reasonable. It puts an additional stress on me to work so hard and then he abuses me and it's hard for me to recover to complete my work task. It is definitely affecting my health. My blood pressure has gone up and I had two weeks where I woke up from sleep frozen in fear every night. That is something that has never happened to me in the past. The possibility of having a peaceful household to raise my grandson is completely compromised with this erratic behavior. There are many times miles does not want him to come over to the house and after that it cuts off but um the other bit of the paperwork says most recent uh, so it says a date of uh, it was january 10 2024 B, did anyone else hear or see what happened on this date? She checked yes, and she wrote Miles, which is her grandson, which I'm guessing is her son's son. Then um, for letter C, did the person in number two use or threaten to use a pow pow or other weapon she checked no did the person cause you any emotional or physical harm she said yes he blocked he blocked me from entering my home and refused to leave i felt unsafe in his presence his actions have caused extreme fear while sleeping. Did the police come? She checked yes. Um, and give more information about how the person was elusive on this day. Details can include what was said, done, or sent to you. Examples, text messages, emails, or pictures. How often something happened, etc. The mother put Ramon disturbed my peace. See declaration for additional 
details. Then it says, how often has the person abused you like this? She, it says just this once, two to five times weekly or other. She checked other three to time, three to 10 times recently and several times in the past. It says give dates or estimates of when it happened. If known, she wrote over the years since 2017, I had filed and was granted a restraining order. This is a uh, really, truly sad um, that this is going on in this family. It seems like they have deep rooted issues based off what the mom is saying. It seems like her son um, has mental health issues. Um, TMZ actually caught up with Ramon this week and asked him about these allegations. Let's take a look. <laughs> What's going on, bro? How are you? Any word on what's going on with you and your sister and your family? Uh, they're saying that, you know, you knocked her teeth out. That's the accusation. The singer, don't you care? No, I don't know what it is. Anything to say to your mother? No, 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 no. about your sister? Have you spoken to her about these allegations? Any reaction to the restraining order against you? No, I have no restraining order against you. Are you denying what happened? So you did not hit your sister, you did not knock out her, her teeth? I haven't seen anybody in years, bro. What are you talking about? So what happened? What's the story? There's no story. At least have your side out there, you know? Is it true you got violent with your mother? As you saw when they first caught up with him and they asked him about the situation, he said no comment. Then he tried to act like he didn't know who Doja Cat was and that she wasn't his sister. Then he kept on saying no comment. Then he said that he has no restraining order against him and that he did not get physical with his mom. So I don't know, child. Um, we'll see if Doja ends up filing papers against her brother. Um, but if in fact, her son is doing these things, which it seems that she has enough evidence to prove that he is, then, you know, her safety and the safety of her grandson is the most important thing. Um, why is she still working is what I want to know. Uh, why don't Doja got her mama situated somewhere where she like is in a high rise where he just can't easily get to her and bother her you know what I'm saying why doesn't she have like security for her mom like Doja is a multi-millionaire at this point she can afford it you know so that's that's weird to me that her mom is still working maybe her mom chooses to work but it seems like from what the mom put in the uh statement that she has to work 10 times harder because her son is constantly threatening her and begging her for money and stuff and that makes her have to work harder to keep up so i'm just still confused as to why her mom is having to work so hard and she's already taking care of her grandson maybe there's a strained relationship between her and doja i don't know but mm, mm, you know that whole situation over there with that family is kind of off to me but we'll see if doja ever talks about this situation and says that what the mom is alleging is true um and if he has put his hands on his mother and sister then he needs you know help mentally and he needs to be reprimanded for that type of behavior you know because that's not cool on no level y'all let's talk about all of this what y'all think about it um, make sure to thumbs up this video, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell button. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.